Hey guys, this is Wood here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2011, the game for race 336 for the running of the Shelby American at Las Vegas. It's probably like 420. <laughs> Please it. <gasps> but, uh, I don't know. So, we're going to get this race underway. So, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what we can do in this race. Alright, so we got very hard, 13 laps, we're off, standard, full, and on. That's the normal format. And... Jeff Burton was, uh... Jeff Burton was on the pole when I checked last time. Okay, so, it's random. Okay. Well, there you go. I ruined the entire season because I just did that. What the, what the fuck? Alright, so... Alright, let's get this underway. Harvick's gonna be on the pole. Alright. When I checked, it was Jeff Burton on the pole. Alright. So... This loading time is going to take fuck forever, so I'm going to take a nap. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Las Vegas, where the Sprint Cup Series is making their annual visit. Cool. Oh, with PRN, oh, finally. Oh, my God. I was about to fall asleep. Of course, Las Vegas Motor Jesus Speedway has undergone a lot of So here we got the beautiful pre-race introduction by PRN. And yes, I'm sponsored by them, so it's going to be a good day. But Jeff Burden is six. That's pretty sad. Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, that's, that's weird. So the pace car is in, and we're about to get this race underway. Way finally, goodness gracious! So I'm going to be starting dead last. Jennifer Joe Cobb on a corn is right in front of me, and there goes the field, and we're gonna be waiting. Get ready, and green flags out. We're underway, and the screen is just going freaking bananas when the race starts. I don't know why it's like that. From a technological side, this game is an absolute just glitch mess. When it comes to the way these starts are. So there you go, got a lot of the field side. Ryan Blaney just, I mean, not Ryan Blaney, Ryan Truex just turns left right into me, and now I got damage on my left side. I'm amazed I don't have axle damage or any sort of damage, but already Harvick has the clean air and just hauling ass, pulling away. We went from 43rd to 35th in one lap, and I just got inside of Elliott Sadler, but it's okay. Pace Joe's might be mad at me for that, but other than that, we're good. We're gonna stay on the bottom here, but this draft is gonna push us up the track barrel, and we're gonna sling it down to the inside, past Bill Elliott, Paul Menard, and I don't know, David Reagan. Yeah, David Reagan. All right, yeah, okay, I got that right. So again, the second lap in a row, we were about to gain seven spots, eight spots. Never mind, it's gonna be a hell of a lot more because they're all brake checking in the trial. So now I'm up to 24th, almost past half the field in two laps. It's kind of a uh, I'm, I'm not the expert here, but I'm going to say that that's a little bit that's a little bit horseshit. Like it shouldn't be like it shouldn't be that easy. And Brad Gislowski or somebody back there just slammed on the brakes. I don't know why. Um, please look out. Don't do anything irrational. Now I'm sliding up the track doing something irrational. See the Joey Logano gods. They're just like, what if you you don't fucking diss our our squinty eyed god? You just don't. Alright, so, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I keep thinking it's like NASCAR 14 or NASCAR 15 where it's like they slide, uh, when you touch the side of their fender, they'll just wiggle all around and go up into the wall or something. But they don't. Jeff Burns, uh, kind of blocking me here. And Jeff Burns, who's won the past two weeks, is, uh, he's on, he's leading. Or not, what the, he's not leading, oh my, he's 16th, Jesus. Corn on a cob, oh! Goodness, Brian Vickers and Jimmy Johnson had a little kerfuffle up ahead of me there, and Harvick's just pulling away. This this race is gonna go fast. For whatever reason, Vegas always seems to, to go by the quickest out of any of the races. It feels like probably maybe it's just me, and it could be like, "Oh, Jim reaching thinking." It's like I know, I, I know it is, but it just, it just feels like it goes by much quicker. Um. Here we go, we're about to fly by Jimmy for tour for the thirteenth position. Uh I think I think we have a shot to win this race. Definitely absolutely a top ten. What a win. I think it's within our it's within our ballpark here. I think it's possible. And I don't know, it just they just seem to kinda of, like Auto Club they gave me a legit challenge all the time. And you know what I realized when I was doing my practice runs at Auto Club? As I'm gonna gain like, uh, like eight spots 
went from like 11 to 6 then <laughs> in just, just a freaking like half a trial wolf. Oh my god, almost clipped the back end of Montoya and could have got myself sideways. Montoya just slams on the brakes, almost runs right in the back of Tony Stewart, or the side of him. Um, when I was doing my auto club practice race, I was like, geez, I'm doing pretty good, you know. And this was when I was practicing. But then when I realized, when I, uh, just before I started recording, like I just checked again, or did one more run, I was like, oh, okay. I had the difficulty on hard. Not very hard, just hard. And and that was why. That is why I had such confidence. I just got completely shattered because of that. So that's why I ruined. I, I don't know. I just I, I was I was dumb. I thought I was good, but then I was wrong. Yeah, it looks like we're you know we're doing all right. We're in fourth place. This is better than Auto Club. This is better than Daytona. This could be actually my very first top five of the season. And again, we set the fastest lap. Um, all right. But Har Harvick does actually have a pretty decent lead. I don't. I think I have enough time to actually run them down as I clip the apron arrow a tiny bit. But it's okay. It's okay. Jennifer Jo Cobb. Corn on a cob. I mean, look at her. She's not in last place. She's like maybe 38th. I mean, good God, that's almost what Danica runs. You know what's really funny is that I was like looking up like Janet Guntry. Uh, she was a girl that ran uh, in NASCAR. Um, in the 70s and very early 80s and in 33 starts got five top tens Danica Patrick in 33 starts one top ten so I don't want to hear about Danica being better than Janet because Janet is, is currently the best female of all time uh, in NASCAR may not be saying much but she's better than Danica she's better than Danica in her first season we have a couple of laps now left to go, and I, yeah, I don't think we're gonna catch uh, Harvard. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be, it could be one of those Atlanta finishes, Daryl, at Las Vegas. I mean, it could very well be that scenario. I mean, Harvick's basically just led like every race, pulled away to, I don't even know how far, how big of a lead he has, maybe a three second lead. I have no, okay, 2.1, all right. So we got two laps to gain two seconds. Now, I think I would like to think I'm, I'm I'm the greatest that ever will be to walk among this planet Earth. I mean, my ego is amazingly huge, but I just don't think I can gain that much ground in two laps. But we're gonna try, okay? And we kind of just washed up in turn three really, really badly, but we still managed to gain almost half a second as I clipped the outside wall just a teeny weeny bit, just like I did at Auto Club. It's like a trend now. White flags out, final lap. It looks like Harvick's got this in the bag. I could catch him, but I just don't think we're gonna. I don't even really know what else I could have done to actually catch him. I didn't really make any mistakes, or I mean, I messed up like one corner, and I think I got into somebody very early on in the race. That was a uh, Ryan Truex, but other than that, I don't really think I would have been able to catch Harvick even with those mistakes out of the way, because. Uh, I might be about a second back, maybe, but if Harvick ends up winning, I'm going to get my first top five of the season. Second place. I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. That could have been way, way worse, so I'll take that. Uh, really, I wish I won. I wanted to win, but then again, RCR has been leading every single race this season. They won every single race. Jeff Burton first two, and now Harvick here. So RCR is on a tear right now. They're just on an absolute tear. And uh, it's in the case of Tony Stewart, my homie G bro son, sixth place. Carl Edwards ninth, Clint Boyer top ten. So three RCR cars in the top ten. Uh, ch ch should we look out on third? David Gillen fifteenth, Mike Junior sixteenth. All right, that's not as shitty. How many spots did uh, Jennifer Jo Cop thirty third, and she started forty second? Give her a golf clap, folks. Jeff Burton thirty second. What the fudge? Holy goodness. Let's look at the points. I should be higher up than 10th, definitely. All right, we're in the 5th. We went from 10th to 5th, and Harvick went from 12th in points to 1st. What a jump in points. Holy goodness. Holy God. My my homie G-son, Tony Stewart, 6th place. Clint Boer, 7th. Johnson Johnson in 9th. Biffle, 10th. Huh. Jeff Gordon, 13th. I remember I was saying that Gordon and Johnson are the best. I'm wrong. They are not the best. <laughs> I, I thought they would. 
but it's RCR just kicking ass right now. All right, let's continue your career. That was that was a fun race. That was an actual fair race. I really I can't complain about that. Nothing bad happened. It, it was a very clean PG race. I can't ask for anything better. Um, that's that's really it. I mean, there's nothing more to say. I mean, I already showed you the point standings. Now it's just gonna load on to the next race. But I believe the next race will be at Bristol, I think, and then Martinsville, Atlanta. I was wrong. Freaking cut my neck, just kill me. I, I was wrong. A human being made a mistake. Look out. So next race will be at Atlanta. I would check the qualifying, but if I do that, it would mess up the freaking just space-time continuum. Who gets the pole? Because it's always changing. So I already ruined it for the rest of the season. So just I hate my life. So next race will be at Atlanta for race 436 for whatever the name it is, 500. Um, this will be the first and second trip to Atlanta because remember back in 2010, Atlanta was raced twice a season as well as auto clubs so that's really it thank you for watching you stuck around i hope you enjoy this I, I i tried my damnest to win but i just couldn't do it so oh well so um as always i will see you all at the next race and as always have a good day everyone